Firstly, I would like to congratulate Dr. Rajesh, who has decided to launch the message for you. In my view, it's a good concept what he is starting. This will help lot of youth to have messages from successful people, which may help them in building up their destiny. In the world, more than 50% are under 30 years and the future of India and world is with youth. It is youth who is to make the world prosperous. However, the youth have several problems. I would like to give my experiences how I became successful. Firstly, you have to try your gut, destiny and karma. You should ensure that you have blessings of your parents, especially father and mother. These blessings count quite a lot in success of your life. You should always have faith in yourself. You should try and see what type of work you love and select what you love. Do what you love and have a high threshold for failures. Don't get worried with failures because failures are the challenges which will make you rise higher and higher. I know as an entrepreneur, for you the motivation is money. But again, you should not forget that you should have a strong faith that nothing belongs to you and you should think of the society. You should try and see that you work as it has been told in Gita, O oh Prince, do your duty without expectation of results and leave it to the God. If you attach yourself with anything materialistic, I don't think you can have success. Success is all what counts and for having success, you have to sacrifice quite a lot. I am not saying you should not go for pleasure, but you have to give priority to your work. You have to have a determination what you want to do. You should be focused. Even if you are a failure, at least you are doing what you love. It's much better to do what you love and be unsuccessful rather than doing something what you don't love and you become unsuccessful. If you have a firm determination, you have faith and trust in yourself, there is no reason why you won't be successful. Make your efforts. I can only tell you from the age of 16, I was indecisive. I didn't know what to do. When I reached 17, 17 and a half, a thought came to me that I have to be something in my life. So all my youth, I kept away and I was deprived from any pleasure what nowadays the youth like. And I said I have to work and my working hours used to be from 6 in the morning till 11 p.m. in the night. But with a strong determination and focus, with full faith in Almighty and God helped me. And I have a strong thinking that there is a saying and there is a song which had inspired me, which said, Tujhe rukna nahi, tujhe jhukna nahi, ghabra na kahi, teri hai zami tum badta chal, taaron ke haat pakadta chal. I hope you understand the meaning of this. That whatever happens, you shouldn't stop anywhere. Just keep on moving. Earth is yours and you should try and reach the stars. 
If you aim for it, I am confident you will succeed. Your own faith and own trust. Do have humility. This is the biggest virtue one can have. Even if someone betrays you, be sweet and nice. Never injure anyone with your sword because the tongue plays the worse role than a sword. In my view, hard work, confidence and trust in Almighty brings success and I don't see why anyone can't be successful. Because even if you are not destined, your hard work will improve the karmas what you are doing and this will change your destiny. Vivekananda always used to say that the destiny of an individual is in its own hand and a man makes his own destiny. Thank you. Thank you for uh, on your launch of the message to the youth and in my view you have selected the best person who has given the first message to the youth is and better than Swami Vivekananda's message can't be anything else. So your start is good. God bless you with your this launch and I will only pray to God that with your this effort the youth of the world takes the full benefit. Thank you. So like me, no? Take me, take me, sir. Thank you. Take me. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. ये पढ़िए पहले ये जो मैसेज है ना really आप आपने पढ़ना चाहिए आपने मेरे भेजा था मगर आपने शायद पढ़ा नहीं है ये जब भी सबके साथ यहाँ आएगा ना बिल्कुल आएगा पता नहीं मुझे पूछेगा ना बिल्कुल आएगा मुझे पूछेंगे मुझसे आप आप फोटो देखना आपको इसमें बार बेस चल very good very good ये देखिए एक नंबर है Thank you, dear. Okay, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Swami Vivekananda was the first person to go to the United States. You know that? Yes. Sir. First person in the history of India. Okay. Right? Yes. Who gave?